180 was back. <laughs> Ouch. Oops. Easier said than done sometimes. Anyway, I feel like it's been forever since I, uh, just trying to figure out what was in my trash can. Talk to you guys. I have been crazy busy. Mm. Uh, still doing physical therapy. I don't know why this stuff is in the middle of the floor. Um, and now I'm doing something else and it's just a bunch of stuff. So last night I was helping Joni out. She had some stuff to do and I was driving her around. Well, we passed by my house and my parking lot's full of people again. And I eventually get home at, I think it was like 7.45. And um, they're still there, but there are a few people moving. No big deal because they weren't in my parking spot. So we had one who was parked sideways covering two parking spots. And then there was one that was parked in the middle of where I normally park. They were standing outside smoking. Um, I was talking to Anthony's mother, uh, checking on her heart appointment. What presentation? Anyway, and so, um, I forgot what I was doing for a second. Um, I'm sitting there, so I'm talking to her. I try to inch forward. I can't. There's no way I'm getting into my parking spot, even if I block their side doors. Um, I'd have to get on the lawn. I have buried um, sprinkler system. Uh, we've already had parents break them off or kids just kick them. They've just... I swear this car confuses me every single time I get into it. Uh, the one, you won't stay there. <sighs> this morning has dragged on, been the longest, been the most stressful. So, like I told you guys a few weeks ago, we filed our taxes back in February, we got our payment, um, it wasn't supposed to come in until like the 28th, it came in the 26th, it was reduced by nine, $1,922. So I've been trying to get a hold of and checking the child support division because we knew where it was going because that amount was owed back in October. So there was some overpayments because when he started working, they started garnishing. All they were doing was taking the 202 or 243 out of his check and sending it directly to me. Well, they were supposed to stop it back in 15. Well, they didn't. And so here we were in a garnishment status. So they, um, I so just need to take a deep breath. Um, so they have taken the 1922 and they have taken three or four more payments of the 202, which is not coming to me anymore because we filed back in December to have it uh, stopped. And so they said anything from the day you filed to the day we um, get a decision from the judge will be paid back from you. So it went from that 1922 down to 1,076, 78, somewhere in there. And so um, we, okay, so this is end of December. Well, no, it's more middle of January. We haven't filed taxes yet. Well, at the end of the year, I guess they just sent over the uh, 1922, so that's what we took out of, or that's what they took out of our taxes. Which, if we had owed that, that wouldn't be a big deal. Um, and so, um, we've been kind of checking the site. 
I've called in 26th yesterday. Was it yesterday I called? I tried calling this morning. So you have to sit from anywhere from 30 minutes at a minimum to 55 minutes. And when I sat there for 55 minutes, I was on the call for like two seconds. They said as soon as it gets into our system, it'll be applied. But that is incorrect. I don't know if other states do it, but Oregon, because if you file single, they hold it for six months. Your tax return. Even if you have overpaid it. Okay. That's a little strange to me, but okay. But if you file jointly, they hold it from six to 12 months. I was like, you're gonna hold 1922 plus continue to take out of our bank or out of his checks uh, every other week, the amount, yes. Uh, no, that's not right. So he said, you can speak to your financial manager. I said, okay. He didn't give me his number, he just transferred me. Fine and dandy, that doesn't bother me, honestly. I leave him a voicemail, tell him to call my cell phone because I've got stuff to do. Don't get me wrong, I can forward my calls uh, from my house to my cell phone, but still, I have to be home for another like uh, two and a half hours. So. I get this thing that says ID on my top of my screen. I flip it down and it's a 503 number, which is Salem, which is probably where this is coming from. I have like nine plus calls. I was like, excuse me? So I'm like, I think this is who's trying to contact me, is the child support guy. His name is Rich. We'll just call him Rich from now on. So Rich is trying to get a hold of me. My phone company is telling my cell phone specifically, hey, this is a scam. Don't answer it. Don't let it go to voicemail. So he confirmed when it's considered scam, it won't even let you leave a voicemail. Or a, yeah, a voicemail. I don't know why I couldn't think of that all of a sudden. So, um, I'm trying to turn it off. It's telling me I'm not allowed to turn it off. I'm saving his number into my phone because I do try to call it back. Logically thinking, this number called me, I'm gonna call it. Because the state of Oregon has one number that goes out, but you're not allowed to call it, that's what flagged it as scam. I was like, you have to be kidding me. So that's why he couldn't get a hold of me. So I called and I spent 20 minutes on the line. The woman was very sympathetic. The guy I talked to this morning was just abrupt and uh, smooth like chunky peanut butter. The guy was kind of coming off like a butt. Well, I understand people have bad days, stuff happens. And I understand there are probably people yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just trying to figure out why has this been taken last month? It's been weeks and it is not showing up. Um, and so she called and I said, this is what's going on, blah, blah, blah. She goes, okay, so since, and I explained the thing about the scam, she goes, that tends to happen. I said, I think I got it fixed, but do not quote me on that. I said, she goes, let's do this. We are going to send him an email. I'm going to put you in the email. We are going to send it to him to see if you can't get a hold of him through calling. You can at least, and I will include his number, you can at least email correspond, which is fine. At least something is, you know, going in the right direction. And so, oh, oh my hand. So we do that, it has the number in it. I, I had her wait on the phone to make sure I got